All right, what's going on, everybody? So just wanted to do a video on this short one because I do think it's important. Um, so the director of communications at Naughty Dog, uh, Arnie Meyer, said that friendly competition between the Sony studios help them all to improve their games. And I think we've seen that. We didn't need him to tell us that. You could see it, right? Every time a Sony studio announces a game, I've always got the feeling that they're trying to one-up each other. And the thing about this friendly competition, he said, is that even though it's, because it's a friendly competition, they help each other. So it'll be like, oh, they're doing this, and how the hell are they doing this, and, and how do they do this so well, right? Because it's a friendly competition, you can go to that studio and get help from them and see how they do things and see how you can improve things. If it was just, you know, complete just competition, then you can't necessarily go to your competitor and ask you to help them. So each studio just keeps in increasing and upping the bar with their games. And this is why, you know, these Sony studios just continue to, you know, push the barrier of quality and, and increase the ceiling of, of, you know, the heights the games, their games can reach. You know, it's very evident um, and it's demonstrative in, in all of their games, you know. These studios are making a quality of games that you never would have predicted. Nobody would have predicted a Horizon Zero Dawn from Guerrilla Games. Nobody would have pred predicted a Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch. We didn't see none of this coming, right? No, because it didn't seem like the, their avenue their avenue as far as like the type of game they can make and, and even the quality. There's just, there's just so much potential there that we didn't expect them to do in terms of quality and even genre of, of the games. You know, and of course I think Naughty Dog is, is I think we can give them a lot of, a lot of credit as far as setting the bar and setting the precedent, um, especially starting last generation, as far as what, you know, they're capable as far as making games. Because it, it, it's almost like all of the Sony studios aren't singular studios. It, it honestly seems like one big conglomerate as far as the Sony first party studios go. Because they all like intermingle, they're all, you know, connect with each other and all help to, um, you know, improve their improve their games, and they all are inspired by it. We, we always hear about each studio talking about each other's games and playing each other's games, and as far as like achievements and, 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 and accomplishments, they're always one-upping each other. You know, when you hear about uh, a game breaking a record, it was always like the last Sony game that held the record. Spider-Man broke God of, God of War's record. God of War broke... Um, Uncharted's record. They, they just break each other's records and it's just this this healthy growth and in, in competition and I think You know As far as like just to bring Xbox into this because we do want Xbox to be better and to be great and I gotta relate it to you know when people look at Look at the industry and it's almost like the narrative is uh, you know shitting on Xbox I really don't think that's what the purpose is of why people do it. I know the message gets lost, but I do think the main message is we want these studios under the Xbox and Microsoft umbrella to be great. If one sets a high bar, then the others can follow, right? All it takes is one to like set off a chain reaction. And when it when it comes to Xbox, you know, exclusives, um, I think we, you know, people would say as far as like, you, if you ask the question, what game, what Xbox game sets the bar right now in terms of quality? I think most people would say like, it's Forza, it's the Forza Horizon series. Now, even though I'm not a racing fan whatsoever, I would, I, you know, I don't play these type of games. The, the quality of that game, of that franchise is undeniable. You, you cannot deny how, how good that, you know, series is. Uh, before Horizon, you know, you you would probably say it's uh, it, it was Gears or Halo. It was probably Halo first. Uh, Halo kind of fell off, then Gears kind of took over. The, you know, as far as like the leader and quality and everything like that. And I was just listening to 
uh, an interview on the Beyond podcast, uh, IGN's podcast, um, and they had Corey Barlog on there. Um, we all know from Santa Monica, the director over there um, for you know God of War. And you know they just brought him on to talk about the game a year, pretty much. It's not, it hasn't been a full year since its launch, but you know they wanted to talk about the aftermath of everything. And one of one of the things he says is, you know, Sony is one of the best studios he's ever worked for because of the creative freedom and how like lenient they are in a way as far as like letting your imag imagination go. He says, and he said, it's not a blank check. But it's as close as you will get to a blank check from any company. Like, Sony just lets their stu And we've heard this from all Sony studios. Sony just lets you do what you want to do. They, they just let you, yo, fam, go. Do your thing, right? And they'll, you know, sometimes they'll talk to you about goals and some things they want, but they don't force nothing on you. And look, final thing I'm going to say on this is as much as people, you know, want to talk about, you know, media bias and people hating on Xbox and its games... Listen, good games uh, are undeniable, undisputed. I don't care how much somebody is a fanboy of something. I believe if they see something that they believe is a good game and play something that they believe is a good game, they will put that fanboyism aside. Because games like Cuphead, Ori, and even the Forza Horizon series are a clear example of that, right? I think. For, Forza, I guess you could say people have like universally accepted that that is the premier best racing game in Forza Horizon, right? I, you don't see nobody slandering, and, and I'm not getting into the whole debate about, you know, what's an exclusive, what's not, I'm just, you know. People accept that Cuphead is an amazing game. I don't see nobody slandering, I didn't see nobody slandering that game. And it's, and it's not on PS4. It's on Xbox, it's on PC, but you don't see nobody shitting on that game. Ori's another one. You don't see nobody shitting on Ori. Because that's a... You look stupid. There there comes a point that even if you're a fanboy, you just look stupid if you try to trash or, or downplay or shit on a good game. You're just going to look stupid. And those games are clear example of, of examples of that. So, point is that when these Microsoft Studios, and we're gonna, you know, it's gonna take until next gen to see it, the product of, of all these studio acquisitions and what they make. If you make good quality games, people will give you credit. So that's what, you know, these Xbox Studios need to make. Just high quality, just, just focus on that. Just don't worry about the timing, you know, be, you know, don't be so strict with the budget. Not saying that Microsoft is strict with the budget. Just make something quality and people will come and people will praise you and people will give you your credit. Because you need the same level of friendly competition um, between all of these Microsoft uh, Xbox studios so they can all uplift each other, right? Y you need that. They all need to uplift each other. They all need to help each other. They all need to set a standard and everybody needs to you know be at that standard or above nobody can't be you know you are going to be your weakest link you can't have nobody producing shit when you know everybody else is produ producing amazing things you know like because they're they're going to look at themselves right like if if all sony studios are, cr are creating these triple a amazing games and you got one studio that their game is just absolute trash that studio is going to feel like it like the spotlight is on they're gonna feel guilty they're gonna feel embarrassed now look look what everybody else is doing and look what the fuck we're making like you know put your put your fucking they're gonna want to put the goddamn uh plastic bag the the paper bag over their head of embarrassment so you got to set that type of standard at the xbox studios too so yeah let me know what y'all think about this i'm out of here y'all peace than brute strength.